All right, let's do this. Good morning, folks, from Jeff's Little Engine Service. So let's go ahead and go out to the west side junkyard here. I just butchered this tree. How do you like it? So here's what we've come to fix. This mower here. Nope, this one. And the problem is, is that it won't start. It'll just turn over and turn over and turn over and won't start. But if you spray starting fluid, it will fire. Now when I looked inside the carburetor, I looked inside the carburetor and it was completely empty of gas. So I blew out the fuel lines. Still no gas getting to the carburetor, so I think we have a bad fuel pump. These Kohler engines, uh, I've had to replace several of, several of these fuel pumps. They're, they're mechanical style pumps, uh, like old school Ford fuel pumps. They're not vacuum operated fuel pumps like what come on most lawn mowers today and what we have is a Kohler Command 14 engine and as I said uh, no gas getting to the carburetor so let's zero in right here on the fuel pump shall we so I got myself a new pump here uh, this is the part number from Stens now you guys know I don't like using aftermarket parts but I do trust most of Sten's parts and uh, rotary so I will use some of their aftermarket parts and considering this one was half price compared to what Kohler wanted and I'm not a big Kohler fan anyways I went with Sten's so you can see what you get in this kit get uh, your connectors a seal, new bolts, and then here's the pump. You also get some directions down in there. And there you go. And you can see it has one of these little tally whackers right here on it, just like a uh, mechanical style old school automobile fuel pump. All right, let's put this on. Looks like I need to get a 10 millimeter socket and my needle nose pliers so I can pull off these fuel lines. Let's go ahead and zoom you guys in here. 10 millimeter socket. This is about one of the most, uh, this is probably the easiest repair I've done so far this year. Thank God for an easy one for a change. Well, I shouldn't say that. I'm not done yet. So it's May 19th, 2020 here in the Pacific Northwest. And uh, for the past three months, I've been really busy working six days a week, 10 hours a day. Where? Let's pull this guy off of here. Let's see. I have to get it off that fuel line here. Sometimes these fuel lines can be real pesky getting off. Sometimes they grip and will not let go. So by twisting them, sometimes you can get them to move. Go. Oh. So 
So when these fuel lines are tough to come off, sometimes I'll just put a little um, lubricant on it, and that makes it come off. And uh, another trick I use is this. go so we'll want to clean off this gasket surface make sure to get off all this old gasket here I'm gonna to have to go get my gasket scraper and we still have some of the stinker there we go now it's coming off. I knew I would win. Measure up the old fuel line here, see how long it was with my new fuel line. Alright. Well, I suppose before I get too far, I should read the directions. Non-metallic pump kit. So it gives a list of what the kit contains. Yeah, I guess it's some useful tips. Talking about lubricating the O-rings before you put it together. Yeah, okay. So here are my tools I use for cleaning off gasket surfaces. It's a, like a medium to fine grit sanding sponge and a razor blade gasket scraper. You really have to make sure you get down to bare metal. And I was reading in this new kit, you use an O-ring. You don't use a gasket. So you have to make sure to get a good flat sealing surface for that O-ring. Try not to gouge it up too much, Jeff. Of course, you want to make sure that none of the gasket material gets into the engine there. Sometimes I'll put a little rag in there. Not today. I'm working out in the west junkyard, so I have limited supplies out here. I pretty much fix mowers where they lie. I do have workbenches, but they're usually full of other projects. Um, and I fix so many lawn mowers a day, I would spend all my day moving lawn mowers around instead of turning wrenches. So I just fix them where they are. Sometimes I have to move them over closer to the shop. When I know I'm going to need a thousand tools to fix something. Okay. So now for the sanding sponge. This thing really makes it nice. Might have to cut this one. Nope. Try to do it in a circle if you can. Yeah, look at how nice that's looking. And you can get sanding sponges usually at your local hardware store. Well, I'm going to say that's good. Oh, 
All right. I believe that is clean enough. So there's our O-ring, which is our new gasket. This giant thing is a tool, believe it or not. Well, it just told me not to use a gasket. So what this tool does is that it opens up that clip inside of there so you can install the fittings. So you have to put this on like this and then it depresses that button there and the one on that side too. I'll try to do this in front of the camera but it's hard for me to see. Basically you want to poke one end and then stretch it over. Oh! Well this might be a good way to do it. Just put this clip over like this and then pull it until you get into the tabs there. Yeah, that's definitely a better way. But you can see you gotta get it up over that little... There we go. Yeah, okay. So when this clip, this when this tool is installed correctly, it depresses down the tab on that side and on that side and you can see instead of looking like this the internal clip is opened up like that so you can install the fittings here are the fittings and you just want to make sure to look at your old fuel pump I'll set this one right here and let's see this would be lined up like this so it looks like this first inlet goes back like that. And they tell and, and you'll want to lubricate these O-rings. That's good enough. And you don't want to have to do this twice. It looks like that's about the angle. I'm gonna say right there. And then you just push it into place to wiggle it a little bit and you got to get these teeth to line up so I'm just gonna press with my hand here real firm oh yep it went into place and you could see it's sitting flush so we can take this clip and it looks like it's I think pointed the direct direction I want it to be pointed there we go so that's how you install the inlets. And since this one's just a straight inlet, we just push that sucker in place. Anyway. It needs something. There we go. Now it's all the way in. It sits flush when it's all the way in. And we can take off this tool and now we're good. We're ready to put this fuel pump on now. So I'm going to go ahead and put this, uh, yeah, this fuel line on first. <clears throat> Brand new fuel line. Well, it's kind of confusing because it tells you to just use the O-ring, but, uh, as you can see, it gives you the spacer in this gasket. I don't know if this is supposed to go on or what. Well, I couldn't find any information about uh, this stuff. Well, so we're just going straight off the uh, engine block with the O-ring directly to the fuel pump yeah let's see if this works let's see if this thing will start yeah i can see it pumping you can see your fuel uh in the fuel filter jumping around check it out